Well, we're joined now by John Sweeney, an investigative journalist. He's also looked into Scientology for a very infamous now uh, uh, documentary. Good to see you, John. Uh, welcome to our sofa. Um, much safer here than it is when you dig into the Scientology group. Tell us about Scientology. People think, you know, it's all a bit weird, a bit sort of odd, this cult. It's a bit more sinister than that, isn't it? It's dark stuff. It's a space alien cult. Um, people like Tom Cruise and John Travolta, if they were sitting here, they wouldn't be talking about Scientology. But they would say it helps them communicate. It's a religion. It's a good thing. Ex-members say, no, it's a mind-control cult. Mm. Secretly, they believe in a space alien Satan has brainwashed um, everybody in the world, in particular people like you and me who question it, and um, that people like Cruz and Travolta, they know the secrets and they are fighting this space alien Satan. I mean, there are videos of Tom Cruise, which you can find online, of him at secret Scientology meetings, which are the weirdest, most disturbing things. It's bonkers. The problem is that it is masquerading as a religion, and in the States it's got religious status, but not here. Um, and hugely lucrative. Uh, uh, pots and pots and pots of money from the word go. This was bad science fiction rewritten into religion by its founder, L. Ron Hubbard. It carries on, and basically it's totally weird. So if you investigated, I did a panorama it, uh, on it back in 2007, and they come for you. They came to us in a hotel room. There was a car chase in L.A. There was all sorts of weirdnesses. It wasn't like the Church of England. Mm. Why are they um, defensive about their religion? Because they have something to hide. An ordinary, honest-to-God religion, if you like, has got nothing to hide. If you want, like, you can have a go at turning over the Archbishop of Canterbury. He will say, hello, would you like a cup of tea? He will talk to you. The leader of Scientology, Tom Cruise's best mate, is a guy called David Miscavige. He denies it by the way they all say that I'm psychotic, a bigot and a liar, which may well be true. <laughs> uh, but but um, they say um, this guy, David Miscavige, is a lovely guy. Ex-members say he goes around thumping people. He's a psychotic bully. When you investigate the church, they hit you with um, letters from fancy lawyers. They, they've got private eyes follow you around. They say all sorts of dark and disturbing mm. things. They did a big DVD about me. Everybody can look at it. I'm a disgrace, blah, 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 a drunk. All of these things are true. But uh, Scientology I mean, I've, I've written columns about them, and you do just, even on social yeah. media, you get absolutely bombarded. It's like there's a whole army of people out there whose only job it is to shut down the truth about the Church and Scientology. But there is another army, peers, of people who used to be in the Church of Scientology who are now out, and I think they've now become unbrainwashed. And, and they also argue uh, and find, and I think in particular since Tom Cruise got divorced from Katie Holmes, mm. um, the church is weaker and the internet is dangerous for it. But it's a dark thing. Well, John, I mean, it's strong stuff you're talking about. And obviously, um, you know, the, the allegations that are being made. We have approached the Church of Scientology for a response, <coughs> but they haven't responded. Well, come on, you gutless cowards. Come and sue us. Because <laughs> they always threaten to sue everybody and they never actually go through with it. Sue so come me. on. We sue think you're a bunch of sinister little weirdos. Come and sue us. Space alien cult. Yeah. When you were buried alive in the wake of this attack, were you left unconscious? So you came to, sort of underneath dirt and debris. It was um, branches, ferns, shrubs were on top of me. When I first came around, it was just I could hear my heart beating.